The Plus series are a new generation of discrete controllers, available in three sizes. Model P6100, 1 16th din, 48 by 48 millimeters. Model P8100, 1 8th din, 48 millimeter wide by 96 millimeters high. And P4100, quarter din, 96 by 96 millimeters. The depth back of panel is 100 millimeters. The controllers accept standard instrument signals such as thermocouples, PT100 sensors, millivolts, linear signals such as 4 to 20 milliamps, and the output or outputs from the controllers are by plug in boards. Consequently, the base unit can be customised to each application as required. The Plus series have jumperless configuration. Many controllers use tiny link jumpers to set input and output types. With the Plus series there are no link jumpers. It is easy to set up and configure the Plus series controllers either from the front of panel display or via a PC. The setup is the same for the three sizes. The base unit can be customised to each application as required by fitting plug-in option boards. Relay, SSR boards, a linear output board, either for a linear control output or for retransmission of the process variable or the set point, a digital input board, allowing the set point to be set locally on the controller or remotely by a contact closure such as a switch. We have a remote set point board. With this feature, the control set point can be set using a, a continuous linear DC voltage or a milliamp signal from an external device, such as a PLC or from a, another controller in a cascade application. A 24 volt transmitter power supply board is available to provide excitation of sensors. Here we have an RS485 serial communications board. The boards are simply fitted into the controller by removing it from the housing and then fitting the board. The boards that are fitted into the base unit are automatically detected. The controller is configured by pressing the up and the scroll keys together. We now have four menus, setup, configuration, tuning and information menu. Let's have a look at the configuration menu. This is where we select the type of input rig that are coming into the controller. There's a default value of 20 to get into the menu. This is the input we have at the moment. It's a PTC um, input. So that's a, a PT100 input in degrees C. We could have it in degrees F. Um, other inputs, 0 to 20 milliamps, 4 to 20 milliamps, 10 to 50 millivolts, 0 to 5 volts, 0 to 10 volts complete range of thermocouples. Let's just go back. Let's go back to our PTC. Here we are. Now when we have a decimal point or a dot between the digits it means that there's one decimal point in the um, in the range, in, in the engineering units. So let's select PT.C, accept it. So now I'm looking at a PT100 input but with one decimal place in the reading. The, these are the default range values. The upper limit is uh, 537.7, the lower is minus 128.8, .8, but 
but we can change those um, values if required um, to make it more compatible for the specific application. Type R of action uh, from the controller. Um, in this case we've got a single output, it's probably being used on just a heating control application. If we had something like heating and cooling where we've got a, a secondary circuit, we would choose dual operation. The type of control action, reverse or direct. Um, here's where we can have alarms fitted and the use of the alarms. Okay. So let's just go through and come out of the menu and have a look at the setup menu. The default value to get into this menu is 10. And here's where we can set our PID terms, the proportional band, integral, derivative, set point limits. Information menu. Here it shows uh, um, the type of input. Um, universal input. There's a relay board on uh, output 1, nothing on output 2, nothing on output 3. So all I've got in this instance is just one output board, one relay board um, on the control output. Um, date of manufacture serial number of the controller tuning this is where we can select auto tune if we wanted uh, pre-tune self tune and back to normal operating mode connections to the controller are made by screw terminals at the rear of the housing there's also a termination uh, diagram on the housing as well. The controllers are suitable for a power supply of either 100 to 240 volts AC or 24 to 48 volts AC or DC. For further details please go to our website www.wardindustries.co.uk